There was a big search for people's blood at that time and the people that were wanted the most were singers because there were not many of them at the time. Names would be written down of people that would be taken to perform witchcraft. Then after we were finished on the Parliament of the Kingdom of Darkness a plan would be taken to the courts and also in Parliament then that law would be passed, like the law that a 12-year-old girl can do an abortion. That law was started in the Parliament of the Kingdom of Darkness. It was easy for laws that go against the will of God to be passed because most of the people in the Parliament are not saved. That is why there is so much evil. The Bible in 1 Timothy 2 verse 1 tells us that we should pray for all people and all those in higher positions because the devil attacks the head and he knows that the rest will follow. Now our job is to pray and conquer the power of sin in these laws so that these laws will not have the power to capture or to enter people. As I am writing here I am not doing it for anyone but I am doing what God said I must do because God delivered me from the kingdom of darkness so that I will be able to tell other people about the works and the plans of Satan and so that Christians will be able to pray and attack the armies of darkness. We were sitting there and we were planning on how we would stop the churches from being saved and from living in holiness. There was an plan from one of people there that we will have to change the mindset of the leadership of churches so that they will allow a person to commit a sin that appears as if it's small, like when a woman wears trousers and yet say they are saved or for a person to have a girlfriend or boyfriend even if it's just one. Though they say they are saved. Then there was clapping of hands and rejoicing and even robes were made for bishops to wear for being in high positions. Even the necklaces that have crosses were made in the kingdom of darkness so that people will believe in them and the spirit of pride will enter them because we knew that when someone has the spirit of pride whether they are a pastor or bishop they will never want to listen to another person who is advising them or telling them that what they are doing is wrong. Then those robes were fitted on Satan to see how they would suit the people of the earth and even on women they were fitted. If you notice carefully this thing of robes and religious regalia of bishops was something that was very scarce in saved Christian churches but now it has grown, all of this was planned in the kingdom of darkness that's where it comes from because they want to put the spirit of religion in the churches and once a pastor is called a bishop they start to be prideful and allows the Christians to live in sin. Let me not also skip this part. In those meetings that were held in the kingdom of darkness Satan came up with the idea that in the churches that are saved let them use oils salt and towels and all the things that was seen with the physical eye and Satan and demons looked for verses that would agree with the usage of these things. That was an easy job because there are many pastors that read the Bible that are into witchcraft and they were present in the meetings of the kingdom of darkness, so they came with verses. Remember that Satan tempted Jesus with verses in Luke 4 verse 1 to try and trick the mind of Jesus. Even here Satan came with verses that would change the mind of pastors, and pastors of the kingdom of darkness were used greatly to deceive those pastors that were preaching the truth. Even the sermons it was decided that they have to change and they should stop preaching holiness in the churches they should stop telling people about heaven and hell but to preach a lot about fleshly things like blessings, success and challenges. All those types of sermons are not feared in the kingdom of darkness because they take no one to heaven. The thing that was guarded mostly in the kingdom of darkness and by devil worshippers is that a person should not live holy so that they will not go to heaven but burn in hell with Satan. Get your life right today with Jesus while you still have chance and stop sinning. When a person was promoted in the kingdom of Satan they were given new seats and demons and devil worshippers would stand up and give that person respect. The angels of the kingdom of Satan are demons. After the devil gave a person a new seat demons would stand up and give them respect, bow for them and promise to look after them and will not stop worshipping them, and that they will forever give them powers. 
Satan counseled them telling them that none of them should disappoint him because he gave them his angels and Satan told them that they are very precious to him and he loves them very much. We were all brainwashed and we thought that the devil truly loves us but he is lying he's full of tricks. I realized that the devil was lying to us when I was going through deliverance from the kingdom of Satan and even then I did not want to be free because I knew the devil loved me. Satan makes you do his will and act as if there is no danger in doing it but he is hiding the consequences and death in that sin. Run away as well and don't let Satan lie to you pretending as if he loves you even when he gives you things that you want because he wants you to end up in hell. Satan then told the people in the meeting to stand up and see how great they were, others were guarded by serpents and others had their own people. A person was commanded to stand up and Satan said they should imitate this person, they lacked nothing and the serpents and demons that guarded this person were many this person replied and said they should always be a law to remove the wombs from the people who are mothers. A person would be told at the hospital that their womb cannot function properly and that they will no longer have children, the womb ruined, so that they will fight the offspring of people so that they do not give birth or they just want them to be stressed and those wombs will be taken to be used in the kingdom of Satan. Satan agreed and he was happy because the number of people will increase in the kingdom of Satan. As for me I was still placed on those lower seats and was guarded by a few demons and that serpent always had its eyes on me. Satan showed me to them and told them that as I will be in Cape Town they need to work together with me and whatever they are planning they should not decide without confronting me. After that the devil stood up and we all stood up with him. And after that they worshipped him and said you are great O God and no one will separate us from you. And in the closing of the meeting there was drinking of blood. Peyton doesn't have anything and he doesn't have any power he just uses the devil worshippers. So if there were no devil worshippers Satan would struggle a lot because he received his power in those meetings and many things are concluded in them. So when you pray you should not forget to scatter the plans and meetings of Satan and when you say I scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ they do not succeed and the place will be full of fire and nothing will continue. Yes I am testifying and showing the power of Jesus and I thank God for deliver me from that evil of being a devil worshipper today I am testifying that Jesus is powerful than all things. Because of my hard work in working for the devil, I never imagined that I would be freed, I never knew any other life besides that of witchcraft and killing people. And I knew that my father was Satan and when I work hard for him he will love me. The love from Satan is not even love, Satan captures a lot of people by wealth and positions and performing miraculous works, so I was captured by the fact that they kept putting me on higher positions and controlled a lot of people, I even beat up people that were older than I so that made me very happy. Even the wealth from Satan does not make sense because it's not the like in this world but it is wealth for the kingdom of Satan, you could have houses and beautiful cars the latest cars but even those cars they were used for witchcraft they were just things to kill a lot of people. There was a lot of money but the bad thing was that you could not come with the money on earth but it is just things to capture people, in the kingdom of darkness Satan has lot of schemes, you have to be careful because when you sin he makes sure that he provides so you things to commit to that sin. An example is that the devil always gives people money to or drink alcohol. When an alcoholic has given themselves over to alcohol, he never requires money to or drink but even though they do not have it but a friend of them would appear and make them drink. If you love dating, the devil makes sure that he brings men or women that are your type so that you will continue to commit that sin. The thing that the devil watches in a person is their soul. He wants all souls to enter hell and not go to heaven. Flee so that you will not end up in hell and become firewood of hell because of loving the sins of the devil. The devil doesn't love you and he will never love you, 
and sin is not nice, but the devil makes it to appear nice. Sin comes to you so that it removes you from God, there is nothing you get after that because the wages of sin is death. So the meeting with Satan ended and we went out. Nevertheless, there was a body of mine that was left in that parliament of the kingdom of darkness so that it will work in that parliament and deal with the things of that place. Another body of mine went with Satan and we entered the ocean and as we got there I had a higher position because when you were from the parliament many of the people submitted to you because they knew you are a complete devil worshipper and you are lack nothing. As I got there they changed my name. I got there and it was written Hello Mother City. That became my name from underneath the waters. So it got popular even outside and they were calling me by it. When they called the name Mother City they were worshipping me and summoning my spirit from underneath the waters. That position to be called Mother City was not attained easily but you would have to work hard and fight for it. And the one who held that title was promoted to a higher position if they were working but if they were weak they went to a lower position. Satan was happy when I was welcomed and they were also happy at my presence and the mermaids were happy. A mermaid is something with the upper body of a female and a tail of a fish or snake. I was also shown the TVs and the way Cape Town was being operated. Then the devil said he was going to see other departments that he works in in Cape Town. I was told that in the ocean it is unlike in the rivers there is no time to rest they are working day and night. I was very happy because I had no time for anyone at the time. At the time the mermaid said we will change women so that they sell their bodies. Selling your body is in different kinds, there are people that charge money and there are people that dress half naked. A person will be going with their bodies exposed and men would not love them but will lust after them because they desire their bodies and if they did not expose their bodies the men will not love them. So we made them dress like prostitutes. A person would go to the beach not liking short skirts but once they enter the beach they would meet up with demons of lust and they will come out not respecting their bodies and they will expose them. The people we targeted the most were Christians. A person would go to the beach full of fire destroying all our plans even delivering the second bodies of people who are captured and even casting demons out of people but we waited for them at the beach because we knew that at the beach we were in all places. As they entered the beach we possessed them with demons of lust because people at the beaches don't dress and we knew they do not pray because they go to the beach and as they were at the beach we would put them in spiritual marriage. Then he would begin to see girls that have beautiful bodies and he would see them fit to be his wife and he will would go and speak with them or he would desire to date them and they would fall that way. I am still testifying about the things that happened in the ocean and the things we did. I will begin to tell about the things I did on the first day I arrived in the ocean in Cape Town. I worked hard on that day and I turned about a hundred people into lesbians and others would come out from the beaches with spirit of gayism on others we made the demons to hide themselves for a while after the person has come out from the beach. As for the saved Christians, I came to them when they were sleeping and played the video of people who were naked from that beach and a person would be happy in the dream because their minds would have been captured and would be where we wanted it to be. It was even worse on those Christians that lived a holy life, I made sure that they came back tired so that they do not pray but just sleep. In that place, there was an older mermaid that told me that I will now begin working in these churches and she gave me a list of them. This new work was for churches that were saved. When I was there they gave me a list of churches that were saved and living a holy life whether it was in Cape Town or in the Eastern Cape or overseas, I operated in it. Here in Cape Town there were very few churches that were really saved, at the time it was full of Zion churches and Methodist churches and those churches that were not saved but were pretending as if they were saved, it is those churches where many people attend. 
Then Satan told me that in these churches we will begin the work that we signed up for in that parliament that we were in. I did not ask questions, I obeyed because I was not supposed to question any of Satan's plan. I had already began the operation to capture Christians so I was continuing that work. Satan said these churches is where I should enter any time I want. Then he said that in these churches there will be use of oils and they will sell these oils inside and people will be prophesied to about things of the earth and people will not live a holy life. A person would date and have one boyfriend or girlfriend. And as for the people in the church, there would be those who are loved by the pastor, they will care about those who have money. So it was agreed and I was told that I had to be fast because the time we were given was small. Other women were not using artificial hair before and did not wear trousers, but after the fake churches that pretended as though they were saved came they began to fall because that spirit entered the whole of Cape Town and even the pastors who lived a holy life fell. And a type of fasting was shown that it should not be dry fast, it must be other types of fasting where you would eat or drink something and they said that these things had to be modernized slash civilized because they knew that people were easily taken away by things that were done by other nations. Flee so that the spirits that I'm talking about don't enter you because they are still being released in the kingdom of darkness. I entered the churches that were started by Satan and began with the pastor that is the leader in that church. I would transform his mind and he would begin to live in the flesh and not in the spirit. And would begin to do things by his theological education because he would see them being done by other pastors and forget the Holy Spirit and he will fear men and listen to them instead of listening to God. In many instances other pastors I captured them through their wives. We would send demons to the pastor's wife and the pastor's wife would go and soften the pastor, for instance in the church there will appear the idea that there's nothing wrong when mothers and sisters wear trousers in church and even the pastor's wife would wear one. Instead of the pastor rebuking we made him soft by making him see how beautiful his wife's body is and how the trousers suit her or we would show him how beautiful the bodies of the female church members are. Then we would have fully captured the church in the spirit and it will begin to live by the flesh. We first captured the head and we knew that we would have captured the whole church, because it will not be taught holiness and it will be full of deceit and demons will be full in that church. It was not easy to capture a genuine saved pastor. Because they prayed and went on dry fasting and they put their faith in God. So other pastors like that, we captured them when the devil came with an idea for the false churches to be full so for the genuine pastor to envy the offerings of those churches. We captured other pastors die possessing him with demons of the love of money and a person would forget what God sent him for, then they would begin to preach lies and will not speak about things, like forsaking sin because it would make members of the church leave and we made him a pastor that sells the truth and does not speak it because he wants money. Others we would begin working in them by leading them to be friends with one of the pastors we had captured and then the pastor would show him that it is not important to preach against sin and make people forsake things, and they will tell the pastor that when they allow Christians to come to church and live in sin because in the end God looks at the heart and not the outside of a person. And then the demons of lies will attack this pastor who is still preaching holiness and would come out of the conversation confused and not even knowing the truth because he would take the things of God and reason them using his own mind and we will keep on attacking him and he would begin to agree that those things spoken by that pastor is true. So even you run away from a pastor or a Christian who criticizes everything and who leads you to see sin as something that is right, run away from that. Run away from conversations that make your mind confused because Satan is attacking you. At that time they are trying to change your mind by using the person you are talking to. Help yourself by reading the Bible and you will get the truth. 
If you notice there are many prophets nowadays on earth, this thing was not like this before. Many prophets were anointed in the kingdom of darkness and were strengthened with powers to perform miracles and signs and were taught how to prophesy, and those who finished training were sent to deceive people and even pastors. That is why there is so much deception on the earth today. You have to understand that Satan has a lot of schemes, he has so much schemes that it can be hard to see the deceit because everything he does he plans it. It is carefully discussed so that a person who has no knowledge and does not have Holy Spirit do not see it. In the kingdom of darkness when you wanted someone or a pastor to be a false prophet we first looked at what they carried in their hand when they were born and which task God created them for. On others we found that they were sent by God on earth to be prophets that preach the truth, so we would use the gift that God gave them then put lies and deceit and that person would end up being a prophet of the devil than to be a prophet of God. Other people we did not bother them but we would let them be used by God to prophesy and pray for people but we would capture them so that they go on prophesying but do not preach about heaven and hell to just end up loving prophecy and to prophesy fleshly things and not spiritual things that take people to heaven. The things that they are careful to observe in the kingdom of darkness is that the person should not leave sinning so that they will not enter heaven. So that person is a prophet used by God and they operate by the Holy Spirit but they have no knowledge or they love money and when people get happy as they prophesy and preach about fleshly things of the earth. Other prophets and pastors anointed directly from the kingdom of darkness they have no God and they do not have Holy Spirit. In the place of Holy Spirit they use demons, there will be a team of devil worshippers that help them in that church most people become devil worshippers in a church like that. So as you enter that church demons of that church possess you and trick your mind so that you do not see that IT is Satan rules that church and you will allow everything and you'll be angry when someone tells you that that church is not the true church. We would capture a lot of pastors that will deceive the nation. The pastors who are anointed in the kingdom of darkness are greater in number in the churches. It is not easy to see them because some of them know the truth, for example they know that dating is sin, so others were able to preach about such things and preach against sin. The only thing is that the truth they preach they preach it with the spirit of demons so that you Christian do not see that they are not preachers of the truth. So we would go to the church and as the pastor would be preaching, demons of Satan would come out from him and enter the church so we would close the ears of people so that they do not hear the truth or when they hear it, to make them stubborn and make them commit more of those things and not repent. Teach yourself to grow spiritually, do not rely heavily on the pastor so that when the service ends the Jesus in you goes away as well. That is what we did to Christians, we made them read the Bible only at church and only pray at church. The thing that made us fight prayer a lot and the Bible is because prayer used to burn us. And the Bible made the Christian to have knowledge and to be careful on a lot of things and be careful on the many things the pastor is doing that are not found in the Bible. Fight against the laziness to read the Bible and to pray if you feel like that just know that it is the demons and the legions of Satan, it's got you and wants to deceive you. Now I will continue to talk about how we captured pastors. In the kingdom of darkness there is no person who is not known in all of the world. All the pastors are known and all the preachers are known, those who preach the truth and those who preach false messages. There are pastors that once preached Jesus, and used nothing but the name of Jesus. We used to go to those pastors and act as if we were the Holy Spirit and we would tell him to use anointing oil and anointed water, salt, candles and towels. We slowly made them fall. 
In other cases we would make him hear another pastor preach on oil, then we would enter him and tell him it is right to use anointing oil and water because they were used in the Bible and even Jesus used water when he told the man to go and wash himself in the pool. We would fill them with knowledge that supports the use of anointing oil. We tell them that there are many Christians and these things make the work easier because you just pray for them and they will work on a person. Then the pastor will slowly begin to use anointing oil. And we would show him that these products bring in money and the pastor would begin to love money and forget about the work God has given him. We also knew the Bible, and even the devil knows the Bible. If you were given an assignment to operate in churches and among Christians you had to know the Bible. This level was not attained by just anyone but you had to work for it because the devil knew that you could repent and leave him. The reason we spread the use of anointing oil was to steal faith from Christians and pastors, a person would see the healing power in the oil and water and not in the name of Jesus Christ. We would give them stress when the oil or water would finish. We knew that we conquered that person because they have created their own God in those things they got at church because they can no longer live without them. The other reason we did this was to turn the house of the Lord like the house of traditional witch doctors. Even now the churches that use these items operate in the same way as witch doctors. By the witch doctor you first pay money for you to see them. And there are now pastors who charge money for you to see them. In place of muti in the church they use anointing oil, water, salt, soaps etc. We used to enter a person who uses these things and we would put stubbornness in their hearts so that they will not listen when they are warned about these things and get rid of them. And very often before the pastor would pray for these things we would have already prayed for them and we already put our powers in them so that they will operate on a person that uses them. There are genuine prophets from God, but others are being tricked by Satan on the matter of using the anointing oils and tangible things. They are deceived without knowing it. Then there are those who are specifically anointed from the kingdom of darkness to deceive people. It is those who have done sacrifices and they use witchcraft to perform miracles. Others began by sleeping with a serpent or mermaid so that they will receive powers to perform miracles and so that their churches will be filled. You will see them happy and as if they are genuine men of God but at night they turn to men of Satan, they do not get happiness because they have to sleep with a snake at night or they should sacrifice other members for the devil in the church or in their own family so, they are killers. When you are working for the devil you are never happy unless when you like the job of deceiving and killing. False prophets worked really hard to make churches and holy Christians that do not use oil and tangible things to fall. So a Christian that failed to wait upon God chose to go to those churches where things are done fast, while they do not preach the truth, heaven and hell but focus on prophecy. We would capture many people because people who fellowship in those churches that use oil are not afraid to invite people to go to their church because they tell you about prophecy and they tell you about their powerful pastor. Then a person would want to go, but they are only putting themselves in hell. We made that pastor not to preach about anything that will take a person to heaven. He will just talk a little and would start prophecy. We knew that people believe when they are being told about their lives and in those churches it is seldom for Jesus to be accepted, the only important thing is prophecy. When they made a person accept Jesus it was their own Jesus and not the one that died and rose again who is in heaven. There is an idol, that is a demon, in the kingdom of darkness. It is Jesus with a small letter, that demon always rejoiced in the kingdom of darkness because people are accepting it. We captured a person by loving prophecy, and even the prophecies it was fleshly things of the flesh and tangible things. Nothing spiritual will be said that they heard from God or Jesus. 
We captured the youth a lot because we knew that God has put great things in them. Those false churches killed those that live a holy life, even worse is a Christian that went out from a church that lives for God and went to those false churches, we first quenched their fire and demons would enter and remove things that are from God. What's important is to keep yourself in prayer, the word, dry fasting and two separate from sin and live a holy life and learn to listen to the Holy Spirit then you will terrify the devil. Those churches that had snakes and mermaids are those that really worked hard to spread the worship of Satan because those pastors have no relationship with God or the Holy Spirit. And we even put in them the spirit of pride. We did that so that the person will not humble themselves before God when God speaks with them to show them that what they are doing is not right. They were controlled from the kingdom of darkness. Their minds were taken from them, we watched those pastors that lived a holy life so not to come close to them to help them. Even when a person wanted to come out from that snake. We put the spirit of fear and death and hunger, and the shame of coming out and telling the truth of what they were doing. We told them that they will die and you will regret it, and even God will not help them, and God will never forgive you because you have done much wrong. Christians from those churches date a lot, and they no longer hide because we put in them the demons of dating, so that they will not do any other thing but date. A person would be in the choir, worship team and would date and say that they are not dating, but they are just getting to know one another because they do not want to get married while they do not know each other. We worked in those churches so that a person would not see anything wrong with their church. And Satan came with the idea of tongues, a person would not be living a holy life but demons would make them speak in tongues, others were taught to speak in tongues. All those type of tongues are from the kingdom of darkness. Tongues are not taught but are a gift that comes from the Holy Spirit. By these tongues we were creating a fun atmosphere in those churches. People would not leave because when you've entered the church you would enjoy speaking in tongues. Even when I was a devil worshipper I had tongues from the kingdom of darkness that I spoke in church when there are people who call themselves prophets. There are a lot of tongues in the false churches. We made everyone who is inside to speak in tongues so that they will not feel bad for not speaking in tongues. We made others to play with tongues, they would be speaking in tongues while just walking. By that time they are worshipping an idol in the kingdom of darkness under the waters. When you have these tongues just know it is not you speaking but demons in you. We would operate through you without you knowing because you were speaking in tongues from the kingdom of darkness. I made pastors to speak in tongues, pastors would come while they are praying in church and the pastor will arrive late and sit on the those special chairs in the front made for them. Some of those chairs are gold and some are wit. They tend to be beautiful because the devil said that they should be kings while they are still here on earth. Satan did all this because he wanted the pastor to be full of pride when they see that they are put in high positions as in like he has his own throne. That thing causes a person not to accept correction when they are being corrected. On other pastors we put rings on them. A person would wear a ring for marriage and would wear another ring that shows that he's married to Satan in the kingdom of darkness. On the second ring the pastors had powers of mermaids that they used to perform miracles. Even though they preach but their bodies are full of the minds of mermaids and their lower bodies are fish. We used those rings to make people fall when they were prayed for because those rings have satanic powers. We focused on pastors especially those that have heard the truth because we knew that they could repent any time and humble themselves before God but we caught them by miracles that were happening. A pastor would have 10,000 in one service and so they decided that they will not turn back. We knew that we had written them on their own list in the kingdom of darkness. 
We made that so that they would not think about separating with those rings and chairs, because in some of the chairs there was a snake. As the person was sitting on the chair it will no longer be them but it would be a snake or mermaid that will be operating in that church. Devil worshippers would go there to watch the pastor so that they do not repent, and even when they think about praying he would never pray, he would just look down because they knew that they do not worship God, they have an idol. The people in the church are just joining them in the kingdom of darkness by laying hands on them and by prophesying to them, they have been bound and being connected to the kingdom. Another thing that we used to capture the pastors is when a person was being ordained for being a bishop. On the day of being given the ring to wear and being told it is to get married to the church, we would be there so as to make sure that they are being ordained by a false pastor. And while they are being ordained, they are ordained on earth and they are also ordained in the kingdom of darkness, and after that their sermons would change and they will preach sermons that do not separate a person from sin.